pretty deep commitment to sustainability for I'd say over 20 years. We've made a commitment in climate action to carbon neutrality by 2025. We think very deeply and intentionally in how we use energy. So a big part of our impact, of course, is transportation. Unfortunately, transportation related carbon emissions are the one major category in the United States that is getting bigger, not smaller. Everything else is getting more efficient. I think fleets should look at the full array of options they have in front of them. Biodiesel use can improve our emissions out of our vehicles and improve air quality locally and it can also have a significant impact on our total global warming potential. We can use existing vehicles, we can use existing fueling infrastructure, and we can make a meaningful reduction in our carbon emissions. So the core of what we do is collect used cooking oil from cafeterias and restaurants, mostly from universities and museums in Chicago. And then we chemically convert that into biodiesel, which is a renewable replacement for petroleum diesel fuel. What started this program was a conscious effort by Loyola University to include undergraduate students in building our sustainable future. We take this used cooking oil from our cafeterias and convert it into biodiesel. That's awesome. It helps run our shuttle buses. It's just honestly such an amazing opportunity. It's a lot of fun being able to actually be in a lab. Unlike in a classroom, you actually get to do more things and it's for viable work. Green Grease and Environmental has been a wonderful partner. They're our oil collection service provider. And so they go around and collect oil from all the places that want to donate to Loyola's biodiesel program. Green Grease has a mission-driven business model that matches up really well with the goals of our program. Their vehicles are running on biodiesel. They're using solar power where they can. They are very committed to sustainable reuse and conservation. We have a great opportunity to reduce emissions right now as we continue to work on the technology that will allow us to have a green electric grid and all electric vehicles at some point in the future. Every university, college, whatever institution has resources nearby. They just need to look for them. They just need to go out and ask and partners will be there.